Hello again, welcome back and thank you for subscribing and all that jolly stuff. Now, I thought I'd uh, delve away from the gloomy politics that I usually do on here and uh, touch on this subject because it's kind of popular and there's a lot of speculation. And depending on your views, it's either a harmless rock from space or it's aliens. Now, I would love it to be aliens, I really would. Because, quite frankly, I think it's going to be aliens who are the only things that could save this planet now, the state we are in. But then again, if it is aliens, my goodness, watch the world order fall. Anyway, so this thing is called 31 Atlas. It was discovered on July the 1st by some uh, boffins with a telescope in Chile, I do believe, because apparently naming things after surveys is the height of creativity isn't it? It's the third interstellar visitor to our solar system and it's hurtling towards the sun at over 150,000 miles an hour and it's due to skim the earth mid-December I do believe. Correct me in the comments but if you're scoring at home mark your calendars or better yet stock up on tinned beans. Now NASA and the ESA they're falling over themselves with excitement over this thing. They've got the James Webb telescope staring at it like it's a lovesick teenager. They've got Hubble snapping pictures from, I think it's 365 million kilometres away. And you've got Europe's Mars probes gawking at it like uh, rubberneckers at a car crash. But what makes this thing weird is its trajectory. It's going to skim Venus, flirt with Mars, tango with Jupiter, then flip the bird and head back to the void. It's no random tumble, if you know what I mean. It's like, uh, it's polite, almost too polite. And that's why Harvard University's Avi Loeb sticks his oar in and says, hang on a minute, this doesn't smell right. No thrust, no wobbles, not behaving naturally, but what if it's a probe? A mothership disguised as a comet, using our sun to slingshot somewhere else. He even joked, or half joked, the mad bastard. Take your vacation before October the 29th, he says. Who knows what'll happen after? And you know what? He's got a point, you know, even if it's wrapped in tin foil, we've sent our own tin cans out there, Voyager and Pioneer, wandering the galaxy like uh, lost puppies with golden records. Why wouldn't some advanced lot from the Milky Way do the same? But disguise it as a comet so we don't panic and, and nuke it from orbit. It's got a coma of dust and gas, you know, that's perfect camouflage. It's rich in CO2 and carbonyl sulphide. And that orbit, you know, improbably close to our big planet. Come off it, you know, that's not coincidence. That's a bloody sightseeing route, if you ask me. But no, the consensus brigade's out in force, aren't they? It's natural. Spectroscopy proves it. No non-gravitational forces, no course corrections. Just a big, dirty snowball. Yeah, right, and I'm the Queen of Sheba. We've got the BBC Sky at night saying, uh, move along, no aliens. Well, if it's the BBC, they've got to be telling the truth, haven't they? Look, I'm not saying grab your shotguns and climb to the roof, but if this thing is a probe, what's it probing? Us. That's what. Our little blue marble with its endless parade of idiots, wars, TikToks, climate alarmism. Maybe it's here to scan our Wi-Fi signals and report back. These primitives are beyond saving. Deploy the asteroids, or worse. Maybe it's here to help. Send us some diversity lectures from Alpha Centauri. <laughs> no thank you. So tomorrow this thing ducks behind the sun for its big gravitational push. Or the Oberth effect for you non-rocket scientists. So keep your eyes peeled. If it spits out mini probes or suddenly veers towards Earth, don't say I didn't warn you. And if it doesn't, well, congrats. We're still alone in this godforsaken universe, surrounded by rocks that might just be spies in disguise. But I think we all need to wake up. Space isn't our playground, is it? It's like a vast, indifferent void that's been watching us longer than we've been watching it. And right now, it's got a front row seat to our circus, so laugh while you can. Anyway, there we go. What do you reckon? Aliens or just a big massive rock from nowhere? Let me know in the comments. I'm Paz49. Thanks for watching. And until the next time, as ever, Roger Trout.